That was what the skies over Tehran allegedly looked like after Israel announced it had begun its much-anticipated retaliation on Iran following the Islamic Republic's missile strikes on critical targets in Israel earlier in April and October. The air over the Iranian capital flickered with flashes as what seemed to be Iran's air defense system actively engaged most of the incoming missiles. Israel claimed their attacks were focused solely on military and missile production sites, which, according to Israeli sources, included ballistic missile manufacturing facilities and multiple air defense systems. A senior Israeli military official confidently stated that the strikes were successful, noting that they destroyed crucial Iranian defense infrastructure with minimal interference from Iran's interception capabilities. Yet despite these bold assertions, evidence on the ground, or rather in the sky over Tehran, painted a far more complex picture. Videos like this are often not promoted by YouTube, so we encourage you to help it reach more people by liking and sharing it with your friends and family. Subscribe to stay informed on the latest developments in Lebanon and Gaza. گاه امام ساعت دو پنجاه دیده سو Unlike the Iranian missile barrage on the 1st of October, which had clear, documented impact on Israeli targets, there has been no definitive footage showing significant damage or destruction in Tehran. Unverified videos circulating online instead show crowds of Iranians on the streets seemingly unfazed, some even mocking Israel's massive strike. In these clips, the aftermath of the attack appeared limited to minor fires on the streets and footage of the intense response by Iran's air defenses defenses that it seems caught the Israelis off guard. Many reports suggested that Iran's Bavar 373 system, a domestic air defense platform, may have played a pivotal role in countering the Israeli offensive. Alongside Russia's radar and air defense support, Iran appeared to deploy a formidable shield that surprised Israeli military planners. The absence of the usual fanfare from the Israeli side was palpable, particularly when comparing this operation to others against smaller, less equipped adversaries. We have concluded the Israeli response to Iran's attack against Israel. The mood, as reflected in the words of IDF spokesman Daniel Hagari, lacked the usual triumphant tone. His voice, usually charged with pride during such announcements, was more restrained, as if the operation hadn't quite delivered the victory Israel had promised. We conducted targeted and precise strikes on military targets in Iran, thwarting immediate threats to the state of Israel. The Israel Defense Forces has fulfilled its mission. If the regime in Iran were to make the mistake of beginning a new round of escalation, we will be obligated to respond. Our message is clear. All those who threaten the state of Israel and seek to drag the region into wider escalation will pay a heavy price. 
We demonstrated today that we have both the capability and the resolve to act decisively, and we are prepared. It's important to contextualize this operation within the larger framework of Israel's military strategy. For decades, Israel has prided itself on its superior air force and long-range strike capabilities, often demonstrating these in smaller conflicts where it targets civilian infrastructure under the justification of rooting out militants. In contrast, engaging Iran, a military equal in many ways, is a different scenario altogether. This latest operation, while touted as a significant blow to Iran's military assets, raises the question, can Israel actually achieve a decisive victory without resorting to the tactics it has historically used against less equipped adversaries? According to sources monitored by OMT News, the massive and decisive attack seems to have missed the mark in terms of widespread destruction. While Israel launched numerous missiles, all from maximum standoff distance, Iran's air defense responded with an overwhelming barrage of interceptors. The lack of confirmed damage to any major Iranian targets, coupled with the absence of credible video evidence showing widespread devastation, calls into question the effectiveness of the Israeli offensive. There were reports of some explosions in western Iran, but they were relatively minor, failing to align with the dramatic narrative of total destruction that Israel had forecasted. One of the most striking conclusions drawn from this exchange is just how formidable Iran's air defense capabilities have become. With the integration of advanced Russian radar systems and the deployment of their own Bavar 373, Iran demonstrated a level of defense that complicated Israel's typical strategy of long-range missile strikes. The fact that Israel, a nation often heralded for its cutting-edge military technology, faced such resistance suggests that the dynamics of warfare in the Middle East are evolving. The Israeli military's attempt to strike from afar without risking its aircraft deep inside Iranian airspace may indicate a recognition of how dangerous Iranian defenses have become. Israeli sources, of course, maintained that the strikes were successful in hitting their intended military targets. However, the lack of evidence to support these claims, coupled with Iran's insistence that most of the missiles were intercepted, paints a picture of an Israeli operation that was, at best, only partially effective. This contrasts sharply with the typically overwhelming force Israel uses when striking less defended areas like Gaza or southern Lebanon, where civilian infrastructure often becomes the focal point of their bombardment. In this case, with only military targets in their sights, Israel appears to have struggled to land the knockout blow it had promised. The outcome of this operation has broader implications for Israel's future military engagements. For years, Israel has honed its strategy around striking civilian infrastructure under the pretext of eliminating militants embedded within. This has been true in Gaza, where residential buildings, schools and hospitals often become targets in the fog of war. But when facing a military power like Iran where civilian objects are not at play and military targets require precise strikes, Israel seems to be on less solid ground. The limitations of this strategy were exposed during this operation. Without the ability to easily overwhelm Iranian military targets, Israel's strike lacked the decisive impact it usually achieves against weaker adversaries. Even some Western media outlets, typically supportive of Israeli military operations, seemed surprised by Iran's resilience, particularly the performance of its air defense systems. This raises an uncomfortable reality for Israel. In a conflict focused solely on military targets, where precision and technological superiority are paramount, they may not hold the advantage they once did. A senior official here in Tel Aviv tonight that Israel is looking to send a message of deterrence to the Iranian regime, 
to ensure that there are no further attacks against Israel. Remember, this was the second ballistic missile attack to take place against Israel this year. The first one in April after the targeted strike against a building next to the Iranian embassy in Damascus, Syria, and then the ballistic missile attack earlier this month following the killing of Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, and the leader of Hamas, Ismail Khania. With that said, one official is telling me tonight that the Israelis are on high alert. They do fear that Iran will respond. And despite the fact that... Analysts Meanwhile, unconfirmed reports suggest that Russia played a significant role in a recent attack by providing precise intelligence to Iran, ensuring that the crisis did not escalate beyond control. According to these reports, Russia's intelligence allowed the Iranians to prepare for the scenario by providing key information about the nature of the attack and its expected execution. This early warning system reportedly enabled the Iranian military to intercept many missiles aimed at critical infrastructure, minimizing damage and preventing what could have been a more disastrous outcome. A central element of Iran's successful defense in this incident was its domestically produced Bavar 373 air defense system. This highly sophisticated piece of technology, which is increasingly being viewed as a symbol of Iranian military self-reliance, is believed to have played a crucial role in thwarting the Israeli strikes. The Bavar 373, which was officially unveiled in 2019, has been touted by Iranian officials as a game-changer in the country's defense capabilities. With its long-range missile interception abilities, this system has provided Iran with a strategic asset that enhances its capacity to defend against aerial attacks, and in this particular case, it reportedly proved itself as a reliable and formidable defense mechanism. The Bavar 373 air defense system is often compared to the Russian-made S-300, which is one of the world's most respected air defense systems. Iran originally sought to purchase the S-300 from Russia, but after years of delays and geopolitical complications, it embarked on the ambitious task of building its own equivalent system. The Bavar 373 is said to have been designed to rival or even surpass the S-300 in certain areas, with Iranian officials often claiming that it outperforms the Russian system in terms of range, precision, and adaptability. Technically speaking, the Bavar 373 is a mobile missile defense system that uses a phased array radar to detect and engage multiple targets. Its ability to detect and track stealth aircraft, drones, and ballistic missiles makes it a critical tool for defending Iran's airspace. The system is equipped with Sayyad-4 missiles, which have a range of up to 300 kilometers and can intercept targets at altitudes of up to 27 kilometers. These figures make the Bavar 373 one of the most advanced air defense systems in the Middle East offering Iran a robust shield against high-altitude threats. In the context of the recent Israeli strikes, the Bavar 373 is said to have been deployed strategically to protect key military and civilian infrastructure across the country. While the exact number of missiles intercepted by the system remains classified, military analysts speculate that the success of the Bavar 373 in this engagement has significantly boosted its credibility as a reliable defense tool. Iranian media outlets have even highlighted how the system was able to engage incoming missiles with pinpoint accuracy, neutralizing a significant portion of the threat before it could cause extensive damage. The role of the Bavar 373 in this conflict also highlights Iran's growing emphasis on indigenously produced military technology. In recent years, the country has prioritized the development of domestic defense systems, driven in part by the limitations imposed by international sanctions and arms embargoes. The Bavar 373 is not only a symbol of national pride, but also a testament to Iran's strategic decision to reduce its dependency on foreign military technology. This decision has allowed Iran to develop systems tailored to its specific defense needs, which are particularly focused on countering aerial and missile threats from regional adversaries like Israel. Moreover, 
The Bavar 373 is part of a broader strategy by Iran to strengthen its deterrence capabilities in a volatile region. With Israel possessing advanced military technology, including sophisticated missile systems and cutting-edge aircraft, Iran has recognized the need to establish a credible defense shield that can neutralize these threats. The development of the Bavar 373, therefore, represents a crucial element in Iran's larger military doctrine, which is based on asymmetric warfare and strategic deterrence. Beyond its technical capabilities, the Bavar 373 has also played a role in shaping Iran's geopolitical stance. By successfully deploying this system in defense of its own territory, Iran sends a message to both its allies and adversaries about its ability to defend itself from external aggression. In the broader context of the Middle East, where tensions between Iran and Israel remain high, the success of the Bavar 373 could potentially shift the military balance. Israeli airstrikes have historically been a significant threat to Iranian infrastructure and military assets, but with the Bavar 373 proving its worth, Iran now possesses a credible line of defense that could deter future attacks or at least minimize their impact. The fact that Russia allegedly provided intelligence to Iran in this case further underscores the complex web of alliances and rivalries in the region. While Russia maintains close ties with both Iran and Israel, it appears that Moscow's decision to assist Tehran in this instance was motivated by a desire to prevent a larger conflict. By giving Iran the means to defend itself effectively, Russia likely aimed to avoid an escalation that could destabilize the region further, particularly at a time when other conflicts, such as the Syrian war, continue to simmer. However, the long-term implications of this cooperation between Russia and Iran remain to be seen. If the Bavar 373 continues to prove itself as an effective air defense system, it could embolden Iran to take a more assertive posture in the region, particularly in its ongoing rivalry with Israel. At the same time, Israel may respond by seeking even more advanced military technology from its allies, particularly the United States, to maintain its qualitative military edge. The Iranian-made Bavar 373 air defense system has emerged as a key player in the defense of the Islamic Republic, particularly in light of recent Israeli strikes. With its advanced capabilities and proven reliability, the Bavar 373 represents a significant milestone in Iran's efforts to develop a robust and independent defense infrastructure. Coupled with the reported intelligence provided by Russia, the success of this system in intercepting missiles has not only helped to minimize damage to Iranian infrastructure, but has also underscored Iran's growing military sophistication. As tensions in the Middle East persist, the Bavar 373 is likely to remain a critical component of Iran's defense strategy, potentially altering the dynamics of future conflicts in the region.